Hi, I'm Pastor Chris Morgan, and thank you for joining me today for our ICCF Leadership Tips. I believe today is going to be valuable for your life. Amen. What I want to do is talk about vision in leadership and really the importance of vision in leadership. We all know that leadership is important, no matter whether you're a senior pastor, a ministry leader, or leading at some level uh, in the church world or in life. These things are so valuable, important, and leadership is. And one of the components that I believe is critical to effective leadership is vision. And I personally want to talk to you uh, about that today. You know, it's been said that sight is a function of our eyes and vision, amen, uh, is a function of our heart. Therefore, vision is is the ability to see beyond our eyes. Amen. And so what I want to do is give you maybe a, a short, quick little thoughts about uh, a fresh look at vision. And probably the most important or the most uh, important scripture or one that talks about vision you'll find is in Proverbs 29, 18. Most people know it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. And what that really means is without vision or biblical or godly vision guiding our lives, people actually do what they want to do with their lives instead of what God has directed for our lives. So the plans and purposes of our life are connected back to vision and God-given vision. So where there is no vision, it says the people perish. Now, what I like to do is give you a couple of other translations of Proverbs 29, 18, and give you the thought and let you see deeper about vision. Uh, the NIV says where there is no revelation. Uh, the Passion Translation says where there is no clear prophetic vision. The Expanded Bible says where there is no word from God. New Living Translation calls it where there is no divine guidance. Wow, that's all talking about vision. They're just saying it a little different way. But my personal favorite uh, of this verse is from the message uh, translation. It says, if people can't see what God is doing, they stumble all over themselves. But when they attend to what he reveals, they are most blessed. So I would tell you this. I personally feel that the best definition of vision is this, is the, is the ability to to see what God is saying and doing. I'm going to say that again. When you put it all together, everything we talked about, vision is really the ability to see what God is saying and doing. And really, this is the leader's job uh, for them to be able to know what God is saying and doing and then be able to communicate that effectively and often to its people. Because vision determines what we say yes to and what we say no to. You know, we all want to say as leaders, say yes to everything, but really we have to funnel that through a uh, vision and then vision lets us know what we should really be doing. So maybe the important question to leave you with today to answer is how to get vision, amen, or how we obtain biblical vision. Uh, Brother Kenneth E. Hagin was uh, really a great mentor, still is to me, even though he's in heaven. And I, I remember something that Jesus told him, and that this is stuck with me, and I think about this often. Jesus told him in a heavenly visitation that my ministers primarily miss it in two ways. Now, we're going to talk about this because this is connected by back to how to get a godly or biblical vision. And so he said this, Jesus told him, my ministers miss it primarily in these two ways. Number one, they don't take time to hear from me. That means we have to spend enough time in prayer to be able to actually discern our will from God's will and know what God is saying. Amen. So that we know what to do. So uh, he said, most ministers don't take time enough to hear from me. And then number two, they don't follow the plan that's already revealed in the scriptures. So what are we saying? Well, godly biblical vision is based upon two things, the word of God 
and the Holy Ghost. And when we, when we hear from God, both from His Spirit and His Word, because His Spirit is not going to say any different than His Word is, it is going to confirm it. And then remember what that does for us is the ability to see what God is saying and doing in our lives. And that's what's important. That will be true for our lives and that will be true for our ministries as well. And that's really what I want you to think about today. And that's the value of, of vision and leadership and where it plays an important role because we really need to be able to hear what God is and see what God is saying and doing and be able to communicate that with others because by doing that, we lead them into the plan and the purpose of God. Amen. So what I want to say in closing today is thank you so much for being a part of ICCF Leadership Tips. I hope this has been helpful. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share this with someone else. And I'll see you again soon. I call you blessed.